Complex graphics can cause some interesting problems when you're exporting them for use on the web. For a start, large files take a long time to download over the Internet. Also, there might be parts of the image that would benefit from different optimization settings than the rest. For example, if your image combines a photo with some vector drawing. Or you might want to treat parts of the image as separately editable objects within your HTML editor. One way to deal with these problems is to slice the image into sections on export. Zara has two different approaches to slicing, but in either case you can apply different optimization settings to the various slices if required. And the image is automatically exported with the necessary HTML to stitch it together again on the web page. This movie shows you how to slice images into regular shaped blocks. An alternative method is to slice it up by its component objects. This is covered in a separate movie. You might typically use the method described in this movie if you have a complex graphic with several overlapping objects, such as the car, heading and logo in this particular example, which I want to be separately editable objects within Dreamweaver. This is the image I'm going to slice. I'm intending to break it into four separate slices, so I start by turning guidelines on and positioning them where I want the slices. Next, I draw four rectangles to define those slices, one over the car, one over the logo, one over the heading, and one over the buttons. The next step is to give each of these slices a name. So simply select each in turn, click the name icon, and give them names. You'll now see them listed in the name gallery. Now, clearly, I don't actually want to export my sliced image covered in black rectangles, so I'll set them to no color. If the purpose of my slicing is simply to break my image into smaller chunks, then I could now go to the Export Image in Slices option in the File menu and export them in the same way as any other bitmap. It will slice this image into the four name sections and save it with the necessary HTML. As a result, the upload of my image to a web page will be more manageable and I will be able to treat the slices as separate objects within my HTML editor.